Hi, I'm Chris, and today we're learning about creating electronic kicks with an oscillator, an envelope, and an amplifier, which is a common technique in electronic music production. It allows you to create a wide range of kick drum sounds, from deep and punchy to sharp and percussive. And today we're using the new Vival XR Seed Oscillator to generate some creative and unique kicks. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create electronic kicks using seed oscillator and envelope in combination with an attenuator and an amplifier. First, set a seed and seed oscillator that will be used as the foundation for your kick drum sound. There are no set rules, but in general, shorter seeds are less complex rich and oftentimes have a stronger fundamental, giving a more punchy attack. I encourage you to experiment with different seeds of different length to see how they affect the character of your kick drum. Next, set up the envelope with an attenuator to apply exponential FM via the seed oscillator pitch input. Yes, pitch or 1V per octave signals are essentially exponential FM. This will create a pitch dive which pronounces the attack portion of your electronic kick sound. Typically, we do not need attack and sustain, as the kick onset is instant and the fall off also starts immediately. Short decay and release settings create a more snappy kick, whereas longer timings put you into the 808 kick territory. Finally, set up the envelope with an amplifier to shape the amplitude of seed oscillator's output. You can use a separate envelope for this to get more control over the shape and character of the kick drum sound, but for this example we will reuse the pitch envelope. Again, attack and sustain are seldom used for percussive sounds, such as kicks, which leaves us with decay and release to shape the kick from short and snappy to long and powerful. To quickly change the whole timbre of your kick, you can randomize the seed. This way you can browse various kicks to find the one that fits your mix perfectly. Try limiting the number of characters in the seed for more consistency in the generated sounds. That's it! With these steps, you should be able to create a wide range of electronic kick drum sounds using seed oscillator, an envelope and an amplifier. As you become more familiar with these concepts and techniques, you can start experimenting with different settings, envelope shapes and amplifier parameters to create even more unique and interesting kick drum sounds. The preset is down in the description and if you want to see more of these tutorials, please like and subscribe.